Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation. Talk radio for the thinking person, home of borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. Welcome to the Savage Nation. Lou Pate here with you, sitting in for Dr. Savage. Honored to be sitting in for Dr. Savage, who's uh, getting some uh, well-deserved R&R. But let's face it, uh, he's got so many things going on. He never does R&R. He probably doesn't do R&R well. <laughs> yeah, as a, but he uh, he will return. But right now, I'll be here with you uh, this afternoon for the next three hours. And, of course, we want you to take part in the conversation. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855 Savage, uh, you are at the home of borders, language, and cultures, and also diseases without borders. Uh, Doctor Savage's new ebook, which will be available soon, boosting your immunity against infectious diseases from the flu and measles to tuberculosis. We'll talk more, uh, a lot more about that later. But we have a lot to bring you. Rick Santorum is out. Rand Paul is out. Scott Brown endorses Donald Trump. Get a little bit of local flavor as we head into New Hampshire, steamrolling into New Hampshire. But the big news of the day is that, at least on the political scene, Donald Trump is back. Donald Trump, you know, maybe he took a little shot in the gut the other night uh, by uh, coming in second to Ted Cruz. But he is back with a vengeance. He is back to the Donald Trump we love. And it only took less than 24 hours for him to inhale and rip into Cruz, calling him a fraud, saying that he stole Iowa, and uh, tweeting, as as we know, he can only tweet, no holes barred, he's uh, not lying down, he's standing up for who he is, he is being Donald Trump, he is being true to his own spirit and uh, making his own destiny and not caving. The Hollywood crowd mocking and being all snarky in their comments, both online and in the news uh, just yesterday. Um, CNN, MSNBC, and even Fox uh, gloating with their indirect and sometimes very direct uh, barbs at him. Um, Donald Trump said, I uh, made a statement about it. maybe it was a mistake to miss the Fox News debate. Now today he's doing a take back on that. Bam. That's why his supporters love him, because uh, no holes barred. So we're going to talk a lot about that uh, uh, coming up, and of course, uh, talk with you about it as well, and all things uh, pertaining to um, New Hampshire and the upcoming primary, primary, and then uh, Nevada after that, the first primary, actually. You know, let me just say this quickly about Iowa. If Iowa was like the second election, if it was the third or the fourth, or if it was part of Super Tuesday, which comes on March 1st, nobody would care. Because it's the first one is the only reason anybody cares. Uh, for those of you who don't know, our illustrious president uh, visited a mosque today outside of Baltimore. And uh, we're going to talk about that. We'll even play you some sound from it. It basically was an infomercial for Islam. Um, I I found it very troubling. I was watching it on Fox. They cut away. CNN, of course, ran with the whole thing. A a lot going on here. Um, Wolf Blitzer kissing up to Obama, calling it historic. Everything with Obama is historic. Yes, technically the first time an American president has visited a mosque, but please... It was an infomercial for Islam. It, he was lecturing non-Muslims in America. When was the last time this guy ever stood up for Jews? When was the last time he ever stood up for Christians? But I, I've got a lot to say about that, and, and we'll talk about that as well. And then there's a thing that you'll only hear here on the Savage Nation is Hillary's emails. Has it been forgotten? Are they gone? It came out yesterday. It was, it was in the New York Post, and maybe some other media outlets picked up on it uh, from the, the New York Post. Her emails included CIA officers' names. Come on, putting people's lives in, in jeopardy. A senior intelligence official says, it, and I quote, it's a death sentence. You don't hear anything about this. The media is doing 
Right now, in 2016, what they did for Obama in 2007 and 2008, and that's running interference. Disingenuous is the kindest word I could use here on a savage nation. Uh, it, is, it is truly uh, reprehensible what is going on um, with the media. So uh, we have that and, and a lot more uh, coming up for you. Uh, truly a, an amazing day as we you know, get, get our mojo back. Trump's got his mojo back. Uh, Rubio, uh, a surprising third place finish. Um, they're making a lot of it. Uh, Cruz, Cruz won. You know, he won by a couple of uh, what, three or four percentage points over uh, Donald Trump in Iowa the other night. I will say right here on Dr. Savage's show that Cruz will not be the nominee. Remember, it was Santorum, it was Huckabee. Iowa, you know, they they just don't know how to pick them good early. They they fall for that whole praise Jesus thing is what they do. So as we head towards uh, New Hampshire, we have Cruz, we have Trump, we have uh, Rubio. Uh, Rubio's turning a bronze medal into some type of platinum award. The establishment has kicked Jeb Bush to the curb. Boy, talk about... Um, <laughs> You know, not kissing you goodnight, if you know what I mean. Jeb Bush, the establishment's choice uh, for 2016, never got into the groove, um, never scored well with people. He's the guy like you'd like to have him at your house for a barbecue and chat with him in your yard. But, you know, you don't want him running the country. Uh, Trump mocked him and hit him over the head numerous times with his verbal sledgehammer, calling him no energy and really belittling him on the national stage in, in many of those debates. Uh, Jeb Bush hasn't pulled out yet, but he's going to be gone soon, especially now that the establishment has turned their back on him and they are embracing Marco Rubio. Uh, he is the new kid in town. And it's funny that the... The media is embracing Marco Rubio on the Republican side, uh, in my humble opinion, for this reason. He's not Trump. That is the only reason they are embracing him. Um, this is the year of the anti-establishment candidate, but you know nobody on the Hill likes Cruz. Uh, I wonder if, if his own family members even like Cruz. He's, he's just not likable. A lot of uh, snake-like qualities when it comes to Cruz. So, And they, they, they have even a more of a disdain for Trump. So what are they left with? Rubio. So now they're going to make him the, the, the poster child, uh, the comeback kid, and all of this type of stuff. Let me tell you, um, with all that support behind him, Rubio will keep it interesting. he got the media on his side. He'll keep it interesting. But um, if he's the nominee, well, say hello to President Hillary Clinton. Because, let's face it, uh, Sloppy Bernie in his seersucker suit, even though he gave her a run for her money in Iowa, finishing, what, three-tenths of one point behind her, um, is not going to do is is not going to be the nominee either. Cruz is not going to be the nominee on the right. Sanders is not going to be the nominee on the left. Trump still stands a great chance. He's going to run the table, I think, in upcoming New Hampshire, upcoming Nevada, and then Florida, and then uh, Super Tuesday. Uh, Cruz will fade. And it'll become a two-man race between Rubio and uh, Donald Trump. But the media, of course, yesterday was just was just counting him out. Everybody likes to gloat over Donald Trump. It's funny. I get emails from people, and I have conversations with people who who are gloating over Donald Trump, and I say to them, "Who? Who's you? you you're Hillary. Are you, are you kidding me?" Uh, it, it is a truly amazing phenomenon that Donald Trump is living rent-free in the brains of the media. He's living rent-free in the brains of those on the left. And trust me, he has the Hillary campaign very concerned. They won't say it on the surface. They won't talk about it. They'll just dismiss him as a reality show host. Actually, Cruz's spokesperson today said reality has hit the reality star or some snarky comment like that. Um, yeah, Talk to uh, Rick Santorum. <laughs> talk to... Uh, uh, Mike Huckabee, and uh, see what's going on with those guys and how they feel about winning Iowa. They would trade it all. They'd give back Iowa if they could have gotten that nomination. Which, by the way, as a sidebar, Rick Santorum is going to um, announce who, his, who he is endorsing. Does it matter? You know, he's a straight-laced stand-up guy. I, you got to respect the fact that he, uh, he is true to his convictions. But does an endorsement matter? 
Uh, I don't know, but um, when it comes to uh, when it comes to New Hampshire, I want to talk with you at eight five five four hundred Savage eight five five four hundred seven two eight two. John Kasich, remember this name. Does it matter? No, he's insignificant. Okay, but. John Kasich has done 91 town hall meetings in New Hampshire. He was not even on the ballot at the Iowa caucus. Okay? Think about that. Not even on the ballot. You don't even hear a mention of it because everybody knows he doesn't stand, you know, snowball's chance in hell to win the nomination. But what does he stand for? Does anybody even know where he's from? The listeners to to the Savage Nation, Dr. Savage's listeners, most intelligent in broadcasting, you know he's from Ohio. He's the governor there. He is a very popular governor in a blue state. Watch for them to put him as the VP nominee. That's why he is hanging around. He will not say he's running for vice president, but trust me, he is running for that. They need Ohio. And without John Kasich... Um, I don't know if they, even with Trump at the top of the ticket, I don't know if they can get Ohio. That remains to be seen. Uh, that's a long way off, but it's a sure thing if they've got uh, John Kasich on, on the ticket. But um, before we go to break, I just want to say Donald Trump is back, and he is back with a vengeance. He is calling out Ted Cruz for what he is, a fraud. And, well, did he steal Iowa? I don't know, but he did do a lot of nefarious campaigning. I know all's fair in in um, love, war, and elections. But Donald Trump tweeted out when he finally got his fingers going again, and I quote, During prime time of the Iowa caucus, Cruz put out a release that Ben Carson was quitting the race and to caucus or vote for Cruz. And come on, Cruz knew that was going on. They're trying to put it off on some flunky in Iowa who was running uh, the campaign over there or running a voting place. Uh, Donald Trump also tweeted out, And I quote, Ted Cruz didn't win Iowa. He stole it. That's why all of the polls were so wrong, and he got far more votes than anticipated. Bad, with an exclamation point. Um, And uh, he's not done there yet. He's he's ripping them apart. He, He talked about... The the violation email uh, the violation mailer excuse me that was sent out by the Cruz campaign trying to shame people into voting uh, truly astonishing this is the Donald Trump that his supporters love this is the Donald Trump that you have know that you know comes on uh, Dr Savage's show the Savage Nation and he's blunt no holes barred no filter no PC and that's why he has this support without spending a lot of money. You're listening to The Savage Nation. My name is Lou Pate, in for Dr. Savage. Of course, uh, get all of your news from michaelsavage.com. You definitely want to check it out all the time. It's it's updated 24-7. Keep the uh, Twitter at a savage nation and of course check out uh, government zero but also coming up soon we've got uh, right now the ebook diseases without borders boosting your immunity against infectious diseases from the flu and measles to tuberculosis um, which by the way uh, dr savage when he returns he is going to be giving you a very detailed um, insight into the zika virus it's funny with the zika virus it, that actually affects people This is something that affects people. People don't care about things that actually affect them. But, you know, politics in Iowa, politics in New Hampshire, they care about. It's it's like a virus is something that could, could spread like wildfire, and that's when people will start caring. And that's when it's going to be too late. So that's why you have to listen to Dr. Savage when he comes back. He's going to be talking about it. And, uh, hey, he's the only only talk show host in the nation who has a Ph.D. in epidemiology and nutrition and sciences from the University of California at Berkeley. So he's the man who's going to be talking about it. But right now, I want to talk with you, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Santorum, you're gone. Rand Paul, you're gone. Trump, you're back. As we'll be right back here, my name is Lou Pate on The Savage Nation. Welcome back to The Savage Nation. Lou Pate sitting in for Dr. Savage. Remember, you can check us out on Twitter at A Savage Nation, uh, michaelsavage.com, which we're going to get to in in a moment. And, of course, check out The Good Doctor on uh, Facebook. 
The Facebook page for Dr. Savage is the one with the book, Government Zero, No Borders, No Language, No Culture. Um, so you want to go to that one. There's numerous ones there. We do appreciate the fans putting up sites for uh, Dr. Savage, but his site is the one with Government Zero on there. Craig, Frank, Stephen, Jacob, and others who are um, generous enough with your time to call us here, please hold. We're going to get um, to your calls. But first I want to comment. If you go to michaelsavage.com, uh, in the right-hand corner, there is a, a story there. It says, shocking uh, footage shows Arab immigrants.